evening. Fears are growing tonight for a young woman from Southport who disappeared from her own doorstep. Naomi Gilead's handbag and mobile phone were found on a beach a few miles away. Her father has made a desperate plea for her to come home. Tim Scott has the latest. Merseyside police team searched for the girl who never came back. 22-year-old Naomi Gilead had enjoyed a night out with friends on Friday before they dropped her off outside her Southport home. She hasn't been seen since. Her family assumed she stayed with friends, but the alarm was raised on Saturday morning after a walker rang to say they found her mobile phone and handbag on a car park at nearby Ainsdale Beach. She'd been out for the evening, she'd had an enjoyable evening she'd arrived home, there seems to be no reason whatsoever uh, why she should have gone into a house. And, and of course, we've been concerned right from the outset as to her welfare. You hate it to dream that uh, fairly soon we're going to wake up, or, or even better, she's going to come for the drive, having been a silly girl, and, um, and get a big hug because we just wanted to come home. Police are continuing to piece together Naomi's movements on Friday night. They'll also begin a fingertip search of Ainsdale Beach in the morning. Police in Greater Manchester have arrested a man in connection with the discovery of an explosive device in Dalton last month. It was found under a car in the town on December the 17th, though it wasn't detonated. The man was arrested earlier today at Manchester Airport. As part of their investigation, police have visited premises on the UK mainland as well as addresses in Belfast. People living in Manchester's Moss Side say they're shocked and angry at the latest shooting in their community. A student attending a family celebration in the area was gunned down at the weekend. Police say they have no motive for the killing. Andy Derrickbot reports. Now familiar scenes in an area accustomed to lives being destroyed by guns. Moraini Sheikh was 19. He'd been visiting Moss Side for a family wedding. But instead of joining the celebration, family travel from London to help a murder investigation. It will be really sad, but they want to see, they don't want to take, I mean, belong to their hands. They want to see the police, get those people who committed the crime and bring them to justice. This is what they want to see. It's thought Narevi, who was a student with no criminal record, starts arguing with two men whose faces were hidden by ballot clavers outside the Zaku Cafe on Claremont Road. Within moments, one had drawn a gun and shot him repeatedly in the chest. The community is tremendously dis disappointed and shocked and grieved by what's happened on Saturday evening here because an awful lot of effort has been made both by the community and ourselves, Greater Manchester the Police, to address the problem of gun crime and violent crime in this area. We've had enough and the people of our communities are actually rallying together and communicating with each other to try and stop this and communicating to our young people Tonight, the family of the latest to lose his life are being comforted. I'll be hoping someone in the community can help bring their son's killer to justice. Four men have appeared in court charged with murdering a holidaymaker outside Liverpool Airport. 57-year-old Mike Howard from Lancashire died early last Tuesday morning. Andy Bonner reports. Father of three, Mike Howard from Hesketh Bank near Preston, was due to go on holiday to Malaga. Shortly after unloading his luggage outside Liverpool Airport, he died underneath the wheels of his car. Today, in Liverpool Magistrates Court, three people stood in the dock charged with Mr Howard's murder. 20-year-old Neil Dolan, 21-year-old Craig Abbott, both from Speak, and a 17-year-old who can't be named for legal reasons, also stand accused of attempting to steal Mr Howard's father and another similar vehicle 20 minutes earlier. The teenager has been charged with unlawfully driving Mr Howard's car. The defendants spoke only to confirm their names and addresses. All three were remanded in custody and appeared before Liverpool Crown Court in nine days' time. A fourth man charged with conspiring to steal the first Volvo was also remanded in custody until the preliminary hearing a week on Wednesday. An asylum seeker who infected a woman from Merseyside with HIV had been jailed for six years. 37-year-old Kuasi Adeye, who was living in Topstead, had death with the woman a week after he discovered that he may have the virus. <laughs> Liverpool Crown Court heard he was also using a false identity to claim loan, grant and benefits. Now finally, they say every dog has its day, and now to one from Liverpool, who's half the pet she used to be, Maria Gearing explains. Megan was once a portly pooch, but now she's beaten the Battle of the Bulge. 
The Beagle ballooned to 41 pounds. That's a staggering three stone. After becoming a canine couch potato, who like to snack? She loves hummus. Um, she loves um, beer. She loves, she just wants to not be a cans over all the time and drink it. But basically, I mean, the dog will eat absolutely anything. Um, and she just sniffs it out. Excess weight. It can also lead to breathing difficulties, heart problems, diabetes. Now Megan's been rewarded for her new slimline physique. She's beaten hundreds of dogs around the country to win the coveted title of Canine Slimmer of the Year. Well done to her. That's it now back to the ITV News and Mark Austin. Good night.